What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of server connection network issue you're currently having with Halo. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is going to be to click your Windows and your R key at the same time. Afterwards, this tab will pop up and I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, this tab will probably show up and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it's successfully flushed, you can basically end this task again. Afterwards, navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto this Windows symbol, hitting settings and clicking onto network and internet. Where well, once you to basically hit network and troubleshooter, you're going to use Windows in order to find any kind of issue. If nothing pops up, hit network and sharing center. Afterwards, navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto change adapter settings or so the second link. Afterwards, stick to either internet or ethernet. It just depends on which one you're currently using. So you're going to right click and disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a, mo quite a few moments, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to just return back to your network and sharing center by just simply ending this task. Afterwards, hit Ethernet or Internet again. Hit Properties. Double click Internet Protocol version 4. And enable use the following DNS server address. What I want you to type in is going to be the Google's DNS server address or 4 times at the top and 2 times 4 and 2 times 8 at the bottom. Once you're finished, click apply and OK. Afterwards, you just simply end every single task. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.